What's up guys, Hong, OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, um, well, I'm 41 years old. I grapple, I do judo, that's my main thing. And uh, I, did, I did BJJ for about six years, right? Prior to judo, done martial arts my whole life. And uh, so this channel is really dedicated to uh, fitness and you know martial arts, right? <clears throat> like I've done a lot of martial arts, but the main things that I I decide to specialize in is grappling. So right now it's brown belt and judo. When this quarantine is over, continue towards the black belt and after that competition, we'll continue competing and eventually get uh, get a world title. Well, an international or a national title. Let's start with the national title. That's, you know, that's already one thing, okay? So anyways, in this video, I'm gonna talk about um, fitness in general, but really to answer one of the subscribers, uh, person in the community, their questions regarding uh, how they should train, what they wanna do because they wanna stay fit for Ramadan, right? So for those of you guys who don't know Ramadan, well, everybody knows what Ramadan is, but essentially they fast for a month, right? Not a, like, of course they eat, but they only eat uh, with... All right, as I was saying, I got cut off because uh, I forgot to turn off the notification for uh, WhatsApp and that cuts the damn video every time so anyways my bad uh so yeah for ramadan like what they do is that they wake up uh when the sun comes up until the sun sun rise until sunset they don't eat the people who practice ramadan don't eat don't sleep uh sorry don't eat and don't drink water and of course they have to refrain from other stuff too right like uh, i think uh, cigarettes and and whatnot you know it's a it's a spiritual thing it's a religion thing right so it's it's so this subscriber asked me, okay, well, he wants to get fit for Ramadan, right? But um, the person also hasn't been, um, is essentially uh, skinny fat and, you know, struggled with uh, food and nutrition and all that, right? So I'm going to start with um, like the exercise and diet part. Here's the thing. If you're not consistent, you will have zero gains. Zero. It takes years to build a body. Also, this is the, uh, the person in question uh, is a ectomorph. Ectomorphs are hard gainers. They don't gain muscle that easily, man. So if we're talking like uh, 40 to 50 pounds of lean muscle mass that, that, a, uh, that a guy could gain, okay, in, in about 10 years or a lifetime for some people, depending on how consistent you are, right? But let's say you were consistent for 10 years working out hard at the gym, right? Eating right, sleeping right, and just building, you know, muscle year by year by year by year. That's as much as you can uh, possibly gain. That's 40, 40 to 50 pounds of lean muscle mass. So that's quite a lot, right? Like you look completely different, man, just with 20 pounds of muscle, you know? Uh, but it takes the time that it takes. And also lean muscle mass, because you guys got to remember that the muscle is like, 20% actual muscle tissue, the rest of it is water, fat, and uh, glycogen, okay? So to pack on like 40, 50 pounds of muscle in like a period of 10 years, that's a lot, of, like you, you look huge, man, you know, uh, depending on how much body fat you have and all that, and so that's what a normal person can, can, can actually hope to attain naturally, okay? Like if you take steroids, then of course, it's a different story. Um, so then of course you could, you could have much higher numbers than that, but then there's, you know, a lot of, uh, side effects to that. So you gotta be careful if you're, uh, doing that kind of stuff, right? Essentially, if you're on it, like you're going to be stuck on it forever. Cause it just messes everything up your whole uh, endocrine system, your whole hormonal system and everything, your testosterone levels, your estrogen levels. It's like, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. So that being said, that's for regular people. Now, if you're, uh, an ectomorph, right? cut that in half. So it's 20, 25 pounds in a lifetime, right? So that's just the way it is. That's genetics, right? Now that being said, okay, um, consistency is everything. If you're not consistent, you do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, you, 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 you stop, you go, you stop, you go, uh, you're not gonna achieve anything, really. You know, it's like trying to learn a, a language, right? Like let's say you want to learn Russian, okay? and. Um, study really you're consistent for a month then you stop then you decide to do something else you know you you study another language right just for kicks then after that 
you come back uh, two months later, oh, you start again, and then you stop, and then you study Spanish. You see, like, it's not, it, it doesn't work. You're never going to get anywhere. So that's the same thing with exercise. You have to be consistent. Consistency in building muscle mass or losing weight uh, is, is really important because that's essentially your best friend. Now, another thing I want to touch on is that if you're, if you're fat, there, there's two reasons, because you're eating garbage, and essentially, yeah, if you eat like highly processed foods, then guess what? You're gonna be fat. And also, if you're not consistent and you don't have enough muscle mass, your metabolism is actually slower, right? So by not doing any exercise, right, your muscles, well, they just, you know, um, get smaller and smaller, so to speak, to a certain extent. I mean, you're still moving, so they can't just disappear on you. But I mean, if you don't have a lot of muscle, your metabolism is slower too. And of course, if you eat garbage on top of that, so you get, throughout time, you get, you know, fatter and fatter, and your muscle mass will stay very minimal. So then, you know, that's, that's just it, man. So consistency is key. Now, in terms of what you should eat, well, I'm not, you know, this is like a big subject, right? But essentially, you got to eat whole foods as much as possible, okay? Not to say that you can't have a little bit of junk food here and there, but if you do that, then, you know, if like, like if 80, 80 to 90% of your diet is garbage, is uh, processed foods, well, you are what you eat. So, you know... That's what you're gonna look like. If you eat crap, you're gonna look like crap. If you don't exercise, you know, and you have, uh, you don't have that habit built into the place, well, don't expect any miracles, you know? Like there's a lot of, um, uh, a lot of programs and trainers and, and stuff like that. Sometimes you see on the internet, they prom promise you like, oh, three months and you get this and you get that and uh, six pack. It's all, a lot of it is fluff, man. It's lies, things take time. Things take time. It takes a lot of effort and consistency. So the question you have to ask yourself is, is this what you want, right? Like if you want this, then you have to commit. And it's a lifelong commitment, man. You know, you can't, uh, I didn't build my body, even though I'm not that big and stuff like that, but for my size and stuff like that, I'm happy for what I need. I'm not a bodybuilder, I'm an athlete, I'm a martial artist. So, you know, I build muscle for my weight category, for my, for what I'm comfortable doing, you know, to be strong and to be fit and all that. Um, and that took, took a long time, man. I, I started working out when I was like, what, nine, 13 years old, I started lifting weights, you know, doing push-ups and stuff like that. So uh, up until now, right? So it took me years to get to this point. Um, not, and, and if that discourages you, then what can I say? This is not meant for you, man. There's no quick fixes, man. You know, like if you want a shortcut, then use steroids. But guess what? If you use steroids, you're gonna... You're gonna pay for that, you know? You might look good for a little while there, but you're gonna pay for that in a hell of a lot of ways, you know? So I wouldn't recommend it, uh, definitely not, okay? Like, yeah, and also a lot of times people, it's, this is for another subject, but I mean, if you jump on, if, if you take stuff too early, you haven't even worked out for consistently for a year and you're already jumping on, on, on roids, you're, you're, you're an idiot, okay? All right, so now, that being said, you gotta stick to Whole Foods, Okay, and what I mean by whole foods is foods that you have to cook, right? Like from nature, like fruits, vegetables, you know, complex carbs. So that means like brown rice, wheat, grain, you know, um, uh, beans, you know, stuff like that. Like you have to stick to that as much as possible. And of course, you have to consume protein. If you want muscle mass, you got to consume protein five times a day. I didn't say eat five big meals a day because then you just get fat if you don't burn it off, right? Calories in, calories out. So, but you, you, for optimal results, you got you to gotta eat at least five times a day. Protein, five, pro, five shots of protein a day, right? So whether you take that in form of protein powder or you take it in forms of, uh, um, uh, what do you call it? Food, actual food, right? Then it, it's fine. Right, but your body can only absorb about 30 grams a shot, you know? So there you go, split that up, right? That's for another um, discussion. But okay, so to get down to Ramadan. Now, the way I would do it is that, okay, usually let's say the sun goes down at 8 p.m., right? More or less, eight, nine. So that would be your first meal, 
right? So then you get to eat. So then I would suggest eating something fast acting, right? So that means sim uh, carbs and proteins, um, right? That are fast acting, that will absorb fast. So if you take protein powder, it goes in fast. You need a mix too, right? But you wanna eat, that's when you wanna eat a little bit of carbs, proteins, of course your vegetables and stuff like that. Eat a little bit and after that, well, you wait a little bit so don't have too big of a meal and so because you want to be able to train afterwards so that's when you would train you would eat first you know wait let's say about two hours right so and then go train but here's the thing though if you eat a huge meal it's not gonna have time to digest like it you know so eat like a, a smaller meal like a medium-sized meal so to speak and then from there you train after you train usually uh, the guys you eat again like around midnight right and then after that you would have to uh, wake up like at let's say about 3 30 in the morning or something like that to eat again right before like the sun comes up or else like you know because you, you'll be fasting the whole day and not drinking any water okay so definitely you would train after your first meal and the reason for that is that you don't want to um train on an empty stomach because you'll be tired you'll be you know You'll be, you'll be too tired, it's not good. You won't have a good workout. So you would definitely have to work out after your first meal, right? Like right after the, fa like once the fast is, uh, is over with, you know, at 8 p.m., let's say you just finished a whole, um, a whole day of fasting without water and all that, then you gotta eat, gotta hydrate, maybe after that take a little nap, boom, wake up, work out. Work out after that, midnight, eat again, right? And then from there, I guess you go to sleep, right? Because so then you go to sleep and then you wake up at 3.30, right? And then when you wake up, okay, that first meal there before you start your fast, that's when you should be eating the most. A lot of food, a lot of food, a lot of water. Because after that, you're pretty much, you know, um, not eating the whole day. Now, that being said, what was I going to say? If you can't work out for whatever reason uh, at 8 p.m., right, 8, 9 p.m. you eat, and after that you can't work out at that time for whatever reason, you could always work out right after, let's say you wake up at 3.30, you eat, then after that you go, um, then you could always work out afterwards, right, sometime during the day, but try to make it as early as possible, right, because the longer the day goes, right, the longer your body starts to get dehydrated, and working out while you're dehydrated, bad idea, you know, bad idea, you're gonna be feel you're gonna feel really bad. It's gonna be really hard, and you, your chances of injuries like increase, right? When, when you're dehydrated like that. So that's what I would do uh, for for Ramadan, right? And of course, if you eat the last meal of like the last meal before you start your fast, right? Then you should definitely eat a lot, drink a lot of water, eat a lot of complex uh, carbs, right? And fats, and you know, of course proteins and all that, but you have to eat a lot because you want it to take time, like time release into your, your stomach for energy throughout the day, right? And then after that, when you when you finally break the fast, like around 8 or 9 p.m., then you would have to eat um, something that gives you energy quickly, right? So you want like simple carbs, simple uh, simple source of um, proteins that, 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 uh, that break down, that absorb really fast, right? So if you don't know what that is, look it up on the internet. You'll see what I mean, right? Look it up on, just Google it. You'll see there's a bunch of stuff, right? Of course you have to have a mix, right? But that's the gist of it. So once you finish your fast at around eight or 9 p.m., that's when you have to eat uh, foods that absorb fast into your body, rest a bit, you know, whether it takes two hours or three, then you work out. Then after that, you eat again, like around midnight, and then you sleep, you wake up, boom. Then after that, you eat the, the biggest meal is, is the one before you start your fast. So that's when you eat mostly um, complex carbs and, and, and protein and of course fiber and all that stuff because you want it to take time to absorb so it could give you energy throughout the day. And so the other option too is that if you don't work out at 8, 8 or 9 p.m., right, after you eat, well, not right after you eat, but you know, <laughs> give your time to digest a bit, then you would have to work out sometime during the day, but the earlier you do it, the better. So once you once you wake up, so that first meal before you start the fast has to be a really big meal, then you digest a bit. So then from there, uh, let's say around, I don't know, nine, 10 o'clock or something like that, you work out and then uh, that's it for the day, man. And then 
So then you go about your day and that's the best thing. So what kind of exercises can you do? Well, you could work on, don't try to work on your strength, you know, so just work on muscular endurance and time under tension. So doing exercises uh, slower, okay? Slower so that you get more benefit, more control, less risk of injury and all that, right? And uh, you just uh, pump that out. So you could do body weight training. There's all kinds of stuff you could do. Um, you know, so I don't want to make this video too long and detailing, but push ups, squats, pull ups, right? If you have some weights, you can use that too. Um, and uh, that's it, man. So I hope that was helpful. I hope that made sense, right? But to get back to what I was saying about physical fitness and stuff like that, like if you. If you haven't achieved what you want to achieve, it's because you're obviously doing something wrong, right? Like where you are now physically, it's the results of stuff that you did in the past or stuff that you didn't do. It's as simple as that. So if you were, and the biggest problem I see with people when they try to get fitter in shape is that they're not consistent. If you're not consistent, it's not going to work. And even when it comes to your food, you have to be consistent with your food, right? So I'm not saying you can't eat stuff that you enjoy eating but you definitely have to switch the ratio, right? So instead of eating, uh, for example, I like the 80-20 uh, rule, right? For most people. So 80% of the time you're eating properly, you're eating healthy, you're eating whole foods, and then 20% of the time, sure, you do what you want, right? Now, if you're gaining weight, it's because you're eating too much and you're not moving enough. If you're losing weight, it means that you're, uh, you're eating, uh, you're moving more than you're actually eating. Because when you eat, you're consuming calories and that's the idea, right? Like it's calories in, calories out. Of course, if you eat fat, you'll just get fat. But for now, I mean Ramadan, okay? Just try to focus on whole foods. And of course, um, one thing that, that's, that, t that time releases, you know, that stays long in your system and gives you a longer lasting source of energy is fats. So if you eat, so that first meal before you start your fast, you should eat a lot of fats, you know, um, have a lot of complex uh, carbs, right? Of course, some proteins and this and that, but that, that has to be a big meal, right? So that's a little uh, hack for you right there. Eat a lot of fats there. Okay, that's a Ramadan. So that way it just sustains you through the day. And then after that, nighttime comes, then you start eating again. And then you eat at 12 and then you eat in the morning. So you would essentially just eat three times a day. Um, that's how I understand it, okay? Because most, most, I think a lot of people who do Ramadan, that's that's a schedule. Like they eat, when the sun goes down, they eat. After that, they have to eat again around midnight. And then after that, you know, they eat again at, uh, uh, well, when they wake up, right? Before the sun rises, of course. So it's important to understand that you have to change your life habits, right? You have to start exercising and you just have to be consistent. So how consistent? Like when you want to build a habit, I suggest picking one, you know, one, two, three things and doing that, like put that on a piece of paper, like write it down on, on a sheet of paper. Or if you have a whiteboard, put it on your whiteboard, draw it out and you got to go for 67 days. If you can, if you do something for 67 days straight, straight, as in if you forget a day, it doesn't count, start over, right? Do it for 67 days. And that habit, it's gonna be the beginning of a, a, of a new habit, right? And after that, the longer you do it, the more you get used to it. And as you do it, you're gonna build confidence because every day, if you set out, you're gonna exercise at least, for example, 20 minutes a day, 30 minutes a day. It doesn't have to be a long time, right? And even some days, if you work out an hour and then the other day, you work out for five minutes, it doesn't matter as long as you do it, right? So try to get that in, right? Build the habits. And um, yeah, I hope that was helpful, man. So leave your comments down below if uh, some of you, guys, if other guys out there are doing the Ramadan thing. What's uh, how do you guys go about it? Do you have any suggestions, any ideas? You know, and uh, yeah. So that's it for this one. So subscribe, like, share, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.